Hello, today we're going to discuss the therapeutic effects of ultrasound and these are normally divided into thermal and non-thermal effects. In thermal mode, ultrasound will be most effective in heating the dense collagen tissues and require a relatively high intensity, normally in continuous mode to achieve this effect. Many papers have concentrated on the thermal effectiveness of ultrasound. And as much as it can be used effectively in this way, when an appropriate dose is selected, so continuous mode and um, more than 0 0.5 watts per centimetre squared, it is really too simplistic to assume that with a particular treatment application, there will be either thermal or non-thermal effects. It is almost inevitable that both will occur, but it's furthermore reasonable to argue that the dominant effect will be influenced by the treatment parameters, especially the mode of application, for example, pulsed or continuous. So the non-thermal effects of ultrasound are now linked primarily to a combination, a cavitation and acoustic streaming. There appears to be little by way of convincing evidence to support the notion of micromassage, though it does seem uh, rather appealing that ultrasound can actually do this. So what is cavitation? In its simplest sense, it relates to the formation of gas-filled voids within the tissue and body fluid. There are two types of cavitation, stable and unstable, which have very different effects. Stable cavitation does seem to occur at therapeutic doses of ultrasound. This is the formation and growth of gas bubbles by accumulation of dissolved gas in the medium. They take approximately a thousand cycles to reach their maximal size. The cavity acts to enhance the acoustic streaming, um, which we'll talk about in a minute, and as such would appear to be beneficial. Now, unstable cavitation is the formation of bubbles at the lowest pressure part of the ultrasound cycle. These bubbles then collapse very quickly, releasing a large amount of energy, which is actually detrimental to tissue viability. So acoustic streaming is described as a small scale of the fluids moving in a fast circle near a vibrating structure such as a cell membrane and the surface of the stable cavitation gas bubble. Now this is known to affect diffusion rates and membrane permeability. Sodium ion permeability is altered resulting in changes in the cell membrane potential. Calcium ion transport is modified, which in turn leads to an alteration in the enzyme control mechanisms of various me metabolic processes, especially concerning protein synthesis and cellular uh, secretions. So the result of the combined effects of stable cavitization and um, acoustic streaming is that the cell membrane becomes excited, thus increasing the activity levels of the whole cell. The ultrasound energy acts as a trigger for this process, but it is the increased cellular activity which in effect is responsible for the therapeutic effects of the modality. I just wanted to touch on micromassage because it is sometimes cited in the earlier research. Now, it's supposed to be a mechanical effect. Um, and in essence, the sound waves traveling through the medium is claimed to cause molecules to vibrate and possibly enhancing tissue fluid exchange and affecting tissue mobility. There is little, if any, hard evidence for this often cited principle.